security guards had to brush back the audience when it rushed the catwalk once a white curtain at the head of the room peeled back at the show's close to reveal the guests of honor. Out stepped Cindy Crawford, Carla Bruni, Naomi Campbell, Helena Christensen and Claudia Schiffer in gold lame as the George Michael anthem Freedom 90 pounded from the sound system. Each of the women, all now in their 40s or 50s, had personally worked with Gianni during their years on the runway. Gianni this is for you, a voice declared throughout the show, which featured a greatest hits of the murdered designer's canon. There were his iconic Baroque designs on dress and trouser combinations, a glittering number bearing Andy Warhol's pop art Marilyn Monroe and rock and roll leather adorned with shimmering tassels. Broad, square-shouldered suits, tight pastel-colored velar-looking dresses as well as swimsuits adorned with sea stars and shells defined the collection. It was all done before a starry crowd including Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton, Kardashian mum Kris Jenner and Gucci creative mastermind Alessandro Michel. Superstar model sisters Gigi and Bella Howdid were there too, but to show off the collection to the crowd of buyers, fans and bloggers. On July 15 the two-decade anniversary came and went for the murder of Versace, who was shot dead on the steps of his Miami Beach mansion. The gunman. 27-year-old Andrew Cunanan took his own life days later after an inexplicable crime spree that left at least five dead. We pay homage to not only Gianni's artistic genius but to who he was as a man, and above all, as my brother Donatella wrote in her notes on the spring-summer 2018 collection. Armani shrugs off global mess Giorgio Armani's show earlier in the day aimed for the same determined joy which flew in the face of a world that seems dogged by disaster at the moment, some natural and some man-made. The clothes he sent down the runway were bright and modern, full of vivid prints and crisp cuts. What was not there was outrage over Donald Trump, fear that North Korea's Cold War might get hot, and no trace of the carnage left by a string of earthquakes and monster hurricanes. It's not because it's a sad moment that I have to make women sad on the runway, the veteran designer told reporters after the show at Titro Armani. Art with a capital A, Impressionist paintings, but not one in particular, drove him to create a collection with plenty of flowers, bright silky pinks and lots of sequins. Providing a bit of star power for the 83-year-old show were Monaco's Princess Charlene and Australian actress Kate Blanchett who is the face of Armani's sea perfume. On the catwalk there were plenty of small jackets, short dresses with sloping hemlines and luminous pleated skirts. The models also showed off vertiginous, see-through high heels. Gauzy jacket and trouser suits embellished with bright designs as well as silky green or silver skirts were major themes. They were all part of what the designer's notes called the sophisticated, linear elegance of the Armani language. New candidate Cavalli as ever, the show concluded with the designer emerging briefly from backstage in his trademark working clothes of long-sleeved top and high-tech sweet pants to briefly accept the audience's applause. The show comes just two months after the Armani Group announced it would reorganize its brands, concentrating on three core labels and trimming its network of boutiques. The change-up was announced in July. When Armani confirmed its sales had fallen 5% in the previous year. Big brands, including Prada, have struggled to find their mojo after revenues across the luxury world were hurt by a slowdown in Asia in currency volatility. Friday was also the big day for British talent Paul Surridge. He made his maiden showing in Milan since being named creative let it Roberto Cavalli, known for its exotic prints and pioneering the sandblasted jean look. It was big on slinky monotone dresses with see-through sections, zebra print trousers and vests as well as flowery, flowing gowns. On the outdoor runway set in a Milan park, there was also some classic evening wear mixing leather and light fabrics, as well as massively oversized chrome-coated sunglasses. I tried to dig deep to find a new sensuality, which I think is missing in women's fashion today and to try and pioneer a new look as Mr. Cavalli did in his origin, Zeridge told AFP backstage after his show.